Uh, welcome to Automotive Service Technology. My name is Mr. Price. Uh, we are a ASC certified MLR or maintenance and light repair program. Uh, if you're a new student, we're going to start you out right at um, basic tools and equipment and we are going to prepare you to safely operate in a shop and then um, we, we want you to be employable. So everything that you need to know to successfully make a living in auto, we are going to give you that, uh, those first steps and those basic skills so you can operate in a shop. Employability skills, we do focus on that as well. Uh, we want you to be successful, that's my goal. So I want to make sure that you know how to work everything out here and so hopefully you can make a good living. And there's still good opportunities out there in automotive repair. So this is your first step uh, to getting a good job. Hi, my name's Court Rourke. I'm from Sandusky High School. I came out to the Santa Monica Career Center and joined the automotive program. The only reason I did this is because I loved working on little lawnmowers, snowblowers, go-karts when I was growing up and I wanted to pursue in that and try to make a living doing this. Uh, this the Career Center in Automotive has helped me get a job. I work at Sanilac Oil and Tire fixing tractor tires and doing oil changes and things like that. Career Center helped me out a lot with that because I knew how to do oil changes and use the tire machines and and the other reason I joined the Santa Ana Career Center is to be with my friends and learn about cars with them. Uh, it's exciting and there is never a dull moment. And uh, I think the thing I really like about teaching is seeing the kids progress learning something that they didn't know yesterday. Or uh, what's really nice is when they get it and you see that, oh, oh I remember you talking about that and, and now then they, they actually see it uh, on a vehicle and they actually understand it's something meaningful, I think. My name is Luke Barti. I've been homeschooled since I was in fifth grade. I um, came here to get certified in brakes and electronics and all that stuff so I can start working in my career field. Well, this fall I started working in Sandusky. I learned a lot here. Mr. Price has been a big help here. Yeah, I recommend whoever uh, is interested in doing this in the automotive industry, I'd recommend coming here. It's a lot of fun. We keep the kids up to date with all the technology that they're going to need to have successful careers in auto service technology. Hi, my name's Stevie Fuller and I'm from Brown City High School. Um, I joined Biotech because I think that it's a great program for life skills and I'm very interested in ag and I think that this is a great program for anybody who is interested in that. Even if you know you might not want to do animal science or even farm, there's environmental science, there's plant science, and there is animal science. So I think that it's a great opportunity. And other than just farming, it does teach you a lot of life skills like work ethic, um, responsibility, time management. It's just a really useful program that I think a lot of people would benefit from. Our goal is that no matter what focus area you choose, you will leave with skills that will make you employable in any sector of the work world. We pride ourselves on being opportunity providers by opening doors for all of our students through field trips, contests, internships, and so much more. I'm Natalie Holbrook, one of the biotechnology instructors and FFA advisors here at the Sanilac Career Center. The biotechnology program is focused around current issues and practices in agriculture, food, and natural resources. Our common instruction area is something all our students will do. It covers general ag knowledge and also uses FFA as a tool to help with developing the skills they need for premier leadership, personal growth, and career success. Beyond common instruction, the students are able to choose between three main focus areas, animal science, environmental science, and plant science. I'm Leah and my focus area is plant science. We spend a lot of our time in the greenhouse and right now we're growing lettuce, herbs, and tomatoes in different systems including hydroponics, which is where they grow without any soil. Biotech has given me the opportunity to make money outside of school, and right now I'm doing a project where I'm growing lettuce that is going to be sold to restaurants. My name is Clara Malark. I'm from CPS, and I take environmental science at the Career Center. 
Biotech has been a great experience for me. Not only have I gotten to learn more about nature and all of its different aspects, I have gotten a chance to learn in a hands-on way and get outside of a traditional classroom. This class has also allowed me to meet and work with a bunch of kids from all over the county and many different backgrounds. I have enjoyed being able to meet new people and learn about the world around me. Hi, my name is Kaylin Kappen. I'm a senior at Deckerville High School and I'm in the biotechnology program. This is my second year in the program and this year I'm actually serving as chapter president. And I've been in the plant science program for the both of the years that I've been at biotech. And a lot I've learned from the plant science program is like how to efficiently grow all the produce that we have. And it's nice because here we also get to sell our produce that we grow. So we get to make money in the class as well, which is really nice. And I plan on having my own greenhouse someday, so this background knowledge helps a lot with that. And I'd have to say my favorite part about biotech is being able to interact from kids that are all over our county. And also the, of all the events that we get to do, like the leadership development events, the CDEs, doing the crew contest that we had to do this year, the discussion meet, all the different things that we get to do. I feel like have really helped prepare me for my future careers that I want to do with public speaking and working efficiently with people and making sure that things are getting done efficiently. Being the president has helped a lot with that. Overall, I think biotech is a really good program in developing your character and maybe becoming a better leader. And it's nice because there's a lot of different curriculums that you can go into in this class. Hi, I'm Monique Soper, instructor of the Careers and Education program and the director of Tats and Teens Preschool at the Sandlick Career Center. We have a two-year program here for students who want to go into education or work with children in general. Students have the opportunity to earn college credit to universities and community colleges throughout the state. Students also have the option to get a CDA credential, which is a national credential that allows them to work in any GSRP, Head Start program, or licensed preschool or daycare center. Students can get the CDA credential and go right into the workforce, or they can go to college to earn a bachelor's degree in teaching or any other related field. Hi, my name is Morgan Moore. I'm a senior from Croswell, Lexington. It's my second year here. Um, it's really fun working here with the kids and getting the hands-on experience um, to figure out what you want to do in your future. Um, just working with the kids in general, you just get to learn their personalities and what they like and what they dislike. I really love both my instructors. Um, they really care about making sure that we understand what we're learning and the process of becoming and getting our CDAs, which is our Child Development Associates, and just having them help us with the things that we really need help with. I plan on going to Rochester University and getting my teaching degree. I'm not sure what field yet, but I plan on just going into teaching and working with kids. Hi, my name is Chloe. I'm a second year student here at Career Center. I really, what I really like about this program is, is that it's furthering me in my career as an educator, allowing me to earn credits when I go to Central Michigan next year. Uh, I have a really good experience with the teachers. They are really helpful. They teach you a lot about working with children and just seeing them work with the children is very helpful. Hi, my name is Ariana Ramo. I'm a second year in this careers and education program. I'm from Croswell Lexington High School and I really enjoy this program because of the interaction with the kids and I plan on going into child psychology and this is a big step towards my future goal in that career. My name is Dominic Lewis and I teach the CDL program. The CDL program entails a classroom portion and also a behind the wheel portion and it is designed to work at the student's speed to obtain their CDL. Uh, through the state of Michigan. A CDL is a commercial driver's license and with our particular program we help you obtain a CDL-A which allows you to drive a semi or a class B straight truck commercial vehicle. Uh, my name is Lauren Dempsey and I took this program to help my future. Uh, I think truck driving is an awesome program that they have and I plan on helping my dad out on the farm with this and starting a job after school with this. Um, Dom's really, he's a really good instructor. Um, he doesn't make you feel pressured that you're not doing good. He tells you if you're doing something wrong and makes you feel like you're doing a good job. I think the coolest thing I got to do is really just driving a semi at 55 miles an hour but on the road in general, you know? I didn't think I'd be doing that and I think that's the coolest part. 
Hi, my name is Chris. I uh, decided to take the CDL class for the Silent Career Center because I feel like it's a great opportunity to learn how to drive truck. And throughout the experience, I've learned a lot of stuff about what to do in a truck and how to maintain a truck and pre-trip inspections. It's a very good class. I'd like to see you take it. The reason I took this class is because I felt that it'd be a good thing to have in life. No matter what situation, you could use it every day. Everybody needs a truck driver no matter what and the world revolves around truck drivers. I love teaching this program because I enjoy working with students and I drove truck for 20 years and really enjoy sharing the knowledge that I gained from that. If you would like to sign up for a class at the Sanilac Career Center, please see your high school counselor. Maybe you have always liked to solve problems and decipher code. Perhaps you have a knack for learning new languages, or maybe you were so intrigued with your computer that you ripped off the cover and started to tinker with the inner workings. If so, computer technology might be an ideal program career choice for you. Computer technology students are able to think analytically in order to devise systems and programs and detailed oriented to troubleshoot problems. They are able to communicate well with non-technical people to assess their needs and convey technical information in plain language. Creativity is essential for computer technology students who hope to come up with the latest app or technology gadget. Given the rapid rate of change within technology, computer technology majors have a thirst for learning to keep up with the latest developments. I chose computer technology because I wanted to learn more about different jobs in IT. Computer technology students are curious about the world around them since computers and systems apply to every possible area of life and commerce. I wanted to take computer technology because I wanted the opportunity to design and build a computer. One thing I learned in class was the importance of using the anti-static wristband when working on a computer. I really enjoyed making network cable and terminating cable with punch down jacks. Given the persuasiveness of computer technology in today's society, there are many different job options open to computer science students. Today's digital economy technology have become a staple in every field, from the high tech and business to healthcare and even manufacturing. There are plenty of computer related jobs to choose from. I chose to study Python programming this year because it is an object oriented programming language similar to Java and C++, and, and Python is one of the most fastest growing programming languages today. The Bureau of Labor and Statistics projects employment of professionals in computer and information technology careers to increase much faster than the average, with 12% growth projected through 2028. After passing the AP Computer Science exam last year, I took Python programming to expand my programming skills. I like using Python with the Raspberry Pis to program the use of sensors, LEDs, sensors, and motors. Because of this, I joined my school's robotics team to use and expand my programming knowledge. The medium annual wage for computer and information technology occupations was $88,240,000 in May 2019, which is higher than the medium annual wage for all occupations of $39,810. I joined computer technology to learn the skills I needed in today's IT jobs. The computer technology program at the Sanilac Career Center is designed with the goal of creating leaders in computer technology and attracting and engaging students with real-world, hands-on experience. In Cisco Networking, we use lab simulation and Cisco's enterprise switches and routers to plan, build, and troubleshoot networks. In addition, I am one of three students using what I've learned in class in my internship here at the Career Center with a technology coordinator. Some of the skills and hands-on experiences students experience include installing software, building computers, replacing hardware, troubleshooting computers, installing and using Linux, creating a virtual machine, exploring electronic sensors, developing programs, and Internet of Things sensors. Terminating network cables, designing networks, installing and programming routers, troubleshooting wireless networks, programming Python and Java games, programming Raspberry Pi computers, programming mobile applications, and creating a resume. In addition, students can earn industry certifications and the potential for two AP computer science credits.
Hi, I'm Steve Soper. I'm one of the construction trade teachers here at the Skill Center. Now we teach everything from the estimating of a project all the way through to building all aspects of it, from the framing to the shingling to the siding, all types of interior finishes from insulation to electrical, plumbing, heating, and drywall. So our students are, are well skilled by the time they leave here and it gives them a great opportunity to look forward to something that they, they can be successful at in life. A lot of our students will go right into the workforce, some will go to technical schools, and some will go to colleges. So we have a, a, a great atmosphere for every student that wants to learn. Hi, I'm Joey Noll. I'm a senior from Cross Lex. I'm part of the Sandlight Career Center, the Construction Trades. The Sandlight Career Center gives you a great opportunity to run equipment and get experienced in uh, the construction trade. Hi, I'm Aiden Francis. I uh, attend Cross Lex High School. I'm a senior, and I also attend Sandlight Career Center. Coming out here is probably one of the best decisions I've ever made, because when I first came out here, I was just I was just starting out as an electrician. I only understood really electrical trade, but this gave me more knowledge of the overall, what goes into building a house, so I understood more. Hi, my name is Zach Ryan from Crosslex High School. I didn't really know what I was gonna do when I first came here, but now that I'm here, I can see all the opportunities that has now opened up for me, and all the avenues that I can now take to pursue my goals and do what I would like to do. Hi, my name is Seth Macias from Crosslex. I'm a senior. The Career Center has helped me with my future and helped me decide what I want to do as a career and that would be uh, become a master electrician and hopefully one day owning my own company. Hi, I'm Margarito Martinez. I'm a senior at Crosslex and I am in the construction trades at the Lake Career Center. My future plans coming out of the Career Center is to go into the construction trades as a rough carpenter, um, build houses. Career Center obviously has taught me everything I know about construction and it's really going to help later in life. Hi, my name is Richie. I'm a senior at Deckerville Community Schools and I attend the Santa Light Career Center. So before I came here, I didn't know how to run an excavator. Jim showed me my first year how to dig holes in the back 40 and with that I plan on becoming an operator in the union one day. The skills I've learned at Career Center have enabled me to uh, make a smarter decision with my future and to get a better job at a younger age. Hi, this is Jim Van Conant from the Sandlot Career Center, construction trade instructor. And our main focus is to get you good jobs. Uh, we have wonderful placement. We have union companies come from the city to come up and hire you. Uh, it's a very, very exciting place to be. And I hope to see some of you here next year. My name is Miles Parker. I'm a junior at Marlette Junior Senior High School. Um, I came to the Career Center because I want to further my skills, and this is a great place to do it. There's plenty of things. You learn so much from Mr. Soper. This is a great program. Um, for any of, any of you that are going into a construction field or a trade field, this is going to really help you guys. Welcome to the Culinary Arts Program here at Santa Lac Career Center. And I'm super excited to see some of you here in the program in the future. I'm Chef Clint, and let's give you a quick rundown of what happens in here. On a daily basis, we have a pre-game meeting in the classroom to go through what needs to be done for the day and upcoming days. We will spend 15 to 30 minutes going through the knowledge part of our program. After this, we are headed into production labs to start putting our knowledge to work, aka cooking up a storm. You will work in teams and individuals depending on the task that needs to be completed. Our goal is to get you to perform and work at your optimal level of skill with consistency. Hello, I'm Nick and I'm a first year student in the culinary program. I was not sure what to expect when I signed up, but let me tell you, this is a program you want to be in. I never thought working with food could be so insightful and rewarding. It has been. In the first year, you will learn precision knife cuts that will make people jealous. We go through product knowledge, meat and seafood identification, and basic butchery skills. We also learn how to braise foods, saute, and my personal favorite, we get to run the grill. You'll be amazed at how a chef can tap into your creative side and get you to accomplish things you never thought of. Hello, my name is Angel and I'm a second year culinary student. This has been hands down my favorite part of high school. Chef has taught us so much and really relates to us in ways most do not. I have been part of the culinary competition team for two years now. We get to travel and compete against the entire state of Michigan. The type of food we are able to cook during competition training is amazing in what you would call modern fine dining. Fun tidbit, Chef was awarded Culinary Chef of the Year in 2019 during competition. 
My favorite part of the program is the baking and pastries. I now have to do it for my family all the time. We cover cookies, cakes, pies, individual desserts, breads, rolls, and biscuits to name a few. Then when you're all done, you get to taste your work. A few things you will master throughout your time here will include knife skills, food safety, dry heat and moist heat cooking, stocks, soups, sauces, and seasonings, plating techniques, nutrition, meat and seafood identification and basic butchery, and modern banquets. Also, business focused on the culinary industry and money management, personal and business. You will be able to create and design your own business and menus. There are several certifications that you can earn through this program. Serve Safe Management, Allergens, ProStar Culinary Certification, and Ruby Certification. Thank you and hope to see you guys soon. Careers in digital media are much sought after. All kinds of industries need creative minds to bring ideas to life. Animators, multimedia artists, special effect artists, creative directors and others put their skills and imagination to work everywhere from film and TV to medicine, engineering and law. If you have the talent, passion and tenacity to follow that career path, digital media can prepare you for the life of doing what you love. I joined digital media because I wanted to learn how to create animations and other creative projects. I like that I have been able to use the elements and principles of design that we have learned to improve my drawings. Digital Media students utilize today's most cutting edge design software including the latest versions of Adobe Creative Cloud and Autodesk software to design and build engaging user-friendly websites, creative power, full images, design games, animations with 3D objects and produce interactive multimedia projects in a collaborative environment. I joined Digital Media because I was interested in learning animation and Photoshop. Whether you would like to design a blog, become a YouTube trendsetter, create new and exciting user experience, or market the next pop culture product, the Digital Media Program at the Sanilac Career Center is designed to give students valuable skills and experiences, design, teamwork, problem solving, and creative thinking. A big plus for taking digital media was to learn how to code websites using HTML and CSS. I learned how to use Adobe's Dreamweaver to make it easier to create websites, but if I have to, I like knowing that I can just write the code in Notepad and get the same result. Have you ever dreamed about animating characters, objects, or even vast landscapes? In digital media, you will gain the foundation of traditional art and animation principles, create digital characters, objects, and environments, and study motion capture. I chose 3D animation for second year in digital media because I plan on pursuing a career in 3D animation. I have been able to model a cell phone holder and then print it out on our 3D printer. In our last project, I designed, modeled, and added realistic materials of a scientist lab scene. I look forward to adding animations to my scene. 3D design and 3D printing skills are already valued resources in industry like engineering, medicine, architecture, art, design, and more. Digital media students can design and 3D print a new game controller. Some of the skills and hands-on experiences students experience include storyboarding, computer imaging, observational drawing, creating 3D and 2D game art, using HTML and CSS JavaScript for website development, character design, visual thinking, 3D modeling, materials, and animation digital marketing, multimedia, web production, and interactive design. Here in the engineering design program, I've gotten to work on a variety of projects. I would definitely recommend this class. I have gotten to do a lot of things that I never thought I would, from welding, working with FANUC robots, and even casting aluminum. It's been a lot of fun. If you like working with your hands, this is definitely the class for you. Hi, I'm Mr. Justice. I'm one of the teachers here in the engineering design program. Uh, this program, you will have the opportunity to take a product from concept to reality and be able to use the tools to have fun, get dirty, and make sure that you're actually taking that learning that you would have and apply that to the workforce. Um, in this program, you have to learn things like CAD, computer-aided drafting design, machining, robotics, welding, and many other things. In this program, you will be able to work with groups and also do a lot of competitions. I'm Dave Crompton. I'm one of the instructors with the Engineering Design Program. This program is a great place to be if you like to work with your hands and your mind. Uh, this is a program that you can come into without any past experience and we'll teach you all the things you, you need to know. 
We'll teach you how to design things. We'll teach you how to do it with drafting, with board drawing and pencil and paper. We'll also teach you how to use CAD, which is computer-aided drafting. You'll learn how to design things. You'll also learn how to use all the tools and equipment to actually build whatever it is that you're designing. We have all kinds of equipment in here. We have hand tools, we have power tools, we have robots. In your very first year out here as a first year student, you'll design and build an electric vehicle. Okay, and you'll build it into team two. You'll actually build it and then race it at the end of the school year. And we invite other schools to show up for that race. It's a great time. And it's one of the most fun times you'll actually have working on a school project. This year is one of our Baja cars. We build a new one every year. We start with a blank platform and the rack of metal behind me. If there's a component we need, we know how to make it. Once the car is done, we race against colleges and universities from all over the country. At the races, we learn to work fast and think on our feet. If you come back as a second year student, you'll have the opportunity to do something that you can't do anywhere else in the world. And that's work on a Baja team. But you'll be competing against all colleges. Okay, so you're gonna take that knowledge that you learned in the first year, you're going to put it to use, you're going to design and build an off-road car like the one behind me, and you're going to actually race it against universities from all over the world. Not just the United States, not just Michigan, but all over the world. You'll be racing against teams from Brazil and Korea and Mexico, Europe, all over, and it's a, just an awesome experience to be able to do this. Um, if this is a program that sounds interesting to you, we really hope to see you in another year or so. Welcome to Graphics. I'm Tina Van Conant, the instructor in the classroom. And in our program, you're going to learn all about the print image. Everything from business cards to billboards. And you get to be creative in four different areas. The art station, the vinyl station, the computer station, and photography. While you're in here, you're going to build an awesome portfolio. You're going to learn real skills that you can use in business and industry. And you're going to build those employability skills so you can take to the workforce. Uh, hello, my name is uh, Jacob Winans. I'm a senior. I'm a second year here. It's really fun here. Teachers are super, they interact with students very well. They care about the students a lot here. I can use this even in the future. Like, it's a, something, I'm going in it for a teaching degree but I can fall back on this and start my own shirt business if I want. I can go apply at a vinyl place. There's Stalikers in Sandusky. Hi, my name's Lexia DRC. I'm from Sandusky High School. I'm a senior and a second year in graphics. Um, we do a lot of fun stuff. We do three main programs called InDesign, Photoshop, and Illustrator. InDesign is my favorite, it's really easy to use and it gives us a lot of insight of how college and actually working is going to be like. She gives us set deadlines and tells us exactly how in the workforce it's going to be. The teachers are really nice. They always ask if we're okay and if we need help. Um, Mrs. V, she's always there if you need her. Mrs. R, she always makes us candy and cupcakes for our birthday. She always brings in snacks for us and they're both really nice. I'm Olivia Turbrack. I'm a second year in graphics. I'm originally from Deckerville. My favorite part of graphics, I would have to say, is probably just all the like hands-on drawing stuff. That's my favorite part. You, we usually get like a worksheet and then we do little thumbnails and brainstorm like what do we want to do from there and then we get the final product. And that's another, another example here. Hi, welcome to the graphics classroom. My name's Carol Radloff. I'm here to help support you to ensure your academic success. My name is Samantha and I'm a senior at Croswell Lexington High School. This is my second year at the Career Center in the Graphic Communications class. For me, it's photography because I love photography. I joined graphics because I want to go into a marketing field and pursue that as a further job and going into graphics can help you in marketing. The teachers here at the Career Center are very helping and want the best for you in your future. It's a great place to be, a great place to learn, so come on out to the Career Center. Hello, I am Andrea Long, the Health Occupations Instructor at the Sandalant Career Center. Health Occupations is a one-year program geared to any student interested in a health science career. We offer CPR, first aid, and the nurse aid certifications as a part of this class. 
you will learn medical terminology, anatomy and physiology, and how to properly care for people. From mid-March to the end of the school year, students complete clinical rotations and take care of real people using the skills that they've learned in class. Uh, my name is Jason Johnson and uh, I go to Carlsville Lexington High School and I'm currently enrolled in the Health Occupations class here at the Santa Lea County Career Center. Uh, the coolest thing I think I've learned so far in this class would have to be our medical terminology section. Um, I think it's going to help me a lot in the future to save time and hopefully in college help me out a lot, maybe even get credits towards that. Um, I think it can be used in any type of profession you need, so it's not just one or the other, but anywhere, anything you do in life, you can use it. My interaction with the teachers, um, it's very good. They help us out a lot. It's a lot of one-to-one -one conversation, so if you have a question or like you're trying to learn a new skill, they come in, help you out one-on-one, -on -one, and if you have any questions, you don't have to really be embarrassed to ask anybody in front of the whole class. Everybody has different questions, everybody's not sure about something, so a lot of us have questions that we can go one-to-one -one with a teacher or if you think the whole class might have the same question, you can ask in front of the whole class. Uh, they help us out a lot individually for sure and help us succeed the most we can as an individual. I'm Vanessa Stadler, I'm from CPS and I'm in the Health Occupations program. The coolest thing I always learn is probably skills. They teach me a lot for the future when I can be hands-on with patients and it's a lot of hands-on and I learn better hands-on because I'm going to be hands-on later in the future too. I'm Erica Lapata. I'm from Peck and I'm in Health Occupations. I took Health Occupations because I've always had an interest in the medical field and that's how I want to pursue my career in the future and there's females in my family that are also in the field and I've just really always had a care for people and always wanted to help so being in here has really opened my eyes to my options and coming here like I was really scared at first but now like when we had the shutdown for a while I missed it every single day because I just loved the environment and the people and learning every single day. <laughs> If you would like to sign up for a class at the Sanilac Career Center, please see your high school counselor. 